house of the Lord. Can you give him a mighty shout of praise? Amazing, amazing. Thank you, Jesus. He is worthy. He is worthy of all glory, worthy of all honor. In fact, Revelations chapter 4 verse 11 says, you are worthy, O Lord, our God. Someone say, you are worthy, O Lord, our God to receive glory and honor and power. Say it again. You are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory, honor, and power. One more time. Say, you are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory, honor, and power. Now, if you brought any of these things with you, any glory, honor, or power to give to the Lord, how about you lift up your voice and give it to him right now? Whoa! Come on, give it to him, give it to him. Come on, give it to him. You are worthy, Jesus. Uh, you are worthy to receive glory. You are worthy. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bow before your throne, and all the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God. And say, Jesus, all the saints and they bow before your throne, and all the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God and say, Your worthy arm it all.
rise from this house that is as arise let the sense and day and night day and night night and day let in sense day and night day Let it rise day and night. Oh, day and night. Uh, we fill this house with a fragrance of worship for you, oh God. Day, night, night. Of a king, 
Jesus, let it rise and light up the world. You step down into darkness. Oh, open my eyes, let me see the beauty. Sing it again. Light up the world, say, light up the world. You step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made, beauty that made this heart.
to him, say, I'll never know
standing on holy ground for the Lord is here and where is is holy this is standing on holy ground for the Lord is here and where he is is holy and Standing on holy ground. 
there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain to break, to break every chain, break every chain. I don't know what you're going through. Just release it right now in this atmosphere before we get back in the song. Just release it. I hear the Lord say, come unto me, oh, you are burdened and a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Whatever it is that has choked you up, before we get back into the song, as a sign of faith, say, Lord, I release it. I release all my anxiety, all fear. I release it right now, all burdens, all worries. The Savior, Messiah is here. Come on, just release it, release it, release it. As we were worshiping the Lord, I heard the Lord say, it's time to just lay it all down. Lay it down, let faith arise. Before we get back into the song, just release it, release it. Come on, release it, release it. Say, Lord, I trust you. I can see that you will save and deliver me. I can see that you can save and deliver me. Release it, release it, release it, release it, release it. Yes, 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 come on. Whoa, say, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Break, to break every day. 
breaking everything that has come against you. We are breaking it. Everything that the enemy has waged against you, every war, do this prophetic action. And we're saying, we break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break, 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 break. Oh, break every chain. declaration I hear the chains falling come on come on
clap unto the Lord right now. Come on, come on, come on. Shout, shout, shout and watch the walls fall down. 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 Shout and watch the walls shout and watch the walls fall down. Shout and watch the walls fall down. Shout and watch the walls fall down. Shout and watch the walls shout and watch the walls shout and watch the walls hey shout and watch the says that God instructed the nation of Israel to walk around the walls and on the seventh day and at the seventh time after they've been quiet after they've been quiet for seven days the Lord said on the seventh day or the seventh time release a shout now some of you might have been wondering why you feel so quiet in your spirit that's your spirit man obeying instructions from the Lord to be silent for a time because at the next sound that you release it's going to go forth with power and when you release that shout all the walls that the enemy tried to do Iraq to keep you out of the promise they fall down so shout and watch the walls fall down shout and watch the walls fall come on shout and watch the walls over your house over your household, you're shouting, shout and watch, fall down, shout, oh, fall down, shout, shout and watch the walls, fall down, shout and watch the walls, shout, shout and watch the walls, shout and watch the walls, shout and watch the I hear somebody trying to trespass in my house 
I am Lord over that house and I can tell them you can't come in. So when you say Jesus is Lord, you're pronouncing his name over everything that belongs to you because it belongs to him. So when we shout Jesus is Lord, we're saying there is no trespassing of the enemy. That's what you're saying. No trespass. No trespass. This belongs to Jesus. This belongs to Jesus. My house belongs to Jesus. My heart belongs to Jesus. My mind belongs to Jesus. My body belongs to Jesus. So as we say Jesus is Lord, you're decreeing and declaring Jesus is Lord. This is the Lord telling you, shout, shout, and watch, the Lord. watch it fall, shout, when you get back home, shout, 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 it's not time to be quiet, and fall down, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is, Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I heard the Holy Spirit say, turn it down for the person that feels like they have little strength. And as you sing this with the little strength that you have, your strength will begin to increase. So I know some of you or some of us are on fire right now. Can we intercede for those that feel weak in faith right now and say it so softly? Jesus is Lord. 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 To the person that almost committed suicide, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. We say Jesus is Lord. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, come on, let's give the Lord a clap. Give him. Give him some praise. Give him some praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to get Prophet Alex just to blow the shofar one more time. You know, um, Pastor Ade didn't know that we were going to do this tonight. But before the service, I said to Prophet Alex, I said, I really feel... You need to blow your shofar in this place tonight. And then when Pastor Addy started singing about the walls coming down, who knows at Jericho that it was as they walked around seven times and then they let out a shout. It was when they blew the trumpets, the shofars, that the walls came tumbling down. And I believe that when we blow the shofar tonight, that every wall comes tumbling down. Every chain is broken. You know, they would blow the shofar to announce the arrival of the king. Can I tell you as we blow the shofar tonight, we are announcing the arrival of King Jesus in this place. I've heard testimonies of cancer leaving when the shofar's blown. 
You know, we had a prayer meeting this week, didn't we, Prophet Alex? We had a prayer meeting this week. Three people got healed in that prayer meeting. Yeah. Alex was literally dancing down the road. He was outside in the prayer meeting. But I believe when we sound this shofar, that sickness is going to leave this place tonight. If you need a miracle tonight, I believe that there is victory in this house. We've declared it. You know, they would sound the shofar when it was time for war. Can I tell you there is the sound of war in this house tonight? When we blow the shofar, we are declaring into the realm of the spirit. It is war. To every principality and power, we're releasing the sound of victory in this house tonight. Hey. This last week was Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. We crossed over into a new season. And as part of Rosh Hashanah, they actually blow the shofar. 100 times throughout that festival, they blow the shofar to usher in the new year. Can I tell you, as we blow this shofar tonight, we declare prophetically over your life a new season in God. We declare something new being released in your life tonight. Who, who's expectant? Come on. Shamba Baba City Kilrabaye. Come on, stew yourself in the Holy Ghost for a moment. Come on, stew yourself up for a minute. Whoa. Shamba Bebe Shanda Dodo Kura Baba Ye. Jesus. 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 For some of you. Your voice is a trumpet in this season. Your voice is a shofar. You know, the Lord's voice is the voice of many trumpets, many shofars. That's who He is. When God speaks, His voice is like the sound of many shofars. And so as we release this sound into the atmosphere tonight, I believe we're releasing the sound of the Lord into your lives. Let it resonate in your spirits. Okay, I want you to all count with me. We're going to count. Three, two, one. Then we're going to release the sound. We're going to do a trial to see if you get it first time, okay? Three, two, one. Okay, that was the practice. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Hi, everyone. I, I actually believe that when we blew that shofar trust now, if any of you just asked the Spirit of the Lord to heal you, 
you need to test yourself right now because I tell you, you've been healed. So just check yourself. If you were in agreement with the Lord saying, when I hear that sound, I'm about to be healed, then I tell you, test yourself right now. Come forward, let us know if you've been healed. And I also want to say, if you were making an agreement with the Lord that yes, this is my new year, then I'm telling you it is, it is. Because this, this shofar represents the blood of Jesus. It represents the new opportunities that are fresh every day. I feel a shift in my spirit right now. There is a shift in this place. If you just got healed, give me a wave. Is there anyone you want to testify to a healing? You just got healed in this moment. Is there anyone? If not, don't worry. We're coming after sickness tonight. Sickness leaves. Have you had something shift? Come. Come, come, come. I don't know what it is, but my neck, I'm almost cracking it, so much tension, I don't know, it's stiff all the time, but I, that, what do you call it? So far, is that now I can move it. Because every time I move my neck, it's like a sharp feeling. I don't know, if you, if you guys sit behind me, you'll probably see me do this all the time. Don't worry, I'm not possessed. <laughs> I'm just, you know. But yeah, I feel so much better. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, let's give God some praise. Let's thank Him for that. Hallelujah. Come on, praise you, Jesus. You can take your seats for a moment. If anyone else has got healed, just give me a wave. We'll have the lights up a little bit as well. Hallelujah. Anyone else got a testimony of healing? Oh, you're looking good tonight. Just tell the person next to you you're looking good. Then, then tell them, but you're not looking as good as me. Tell them you're not looking as good as me. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. I'm just going to invite the, my team just to come and join me, Alex and Carol, Prophetess Keisha. Joseph, just come as well. Come join us. Will you give them a round of applause? Will you honor them, in fact? Come on. Just stand to your feet. Give them some honor. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can take your seats again. You know, we're blessed in Rig to have some incredible people. Uh, we um, serve an incredible leader in Apostle Tomi Araimi. He is a mighty man of God. Will you just honor Apostle Tomi? If you're watching online, we bless you, man of God. He's often tuning into our service. And so um, I know right now they're in the middle of a, um, a Rig Africa service. And uh, they've got Prophet's House going on. 20 uh, people are there currently being trained in the School of the Prophets. Our own daughter is there in Nigeria at the moment. Hey, yeah, Prophet Kelly, I didn't see you there. Yeah, give her a round of applause as well. I know um, uh, Prophet Dari was uh, stuck in traffic, and so I wasn't expecting Kelly, but praise God. Good to have you in the house. And so um, the School of the Prophets is going on. We sent our daughter there. It's an incredible testimony. She raised 10,000 pounds in 24 hours. In 24 hours. And um, we sent her off, and I know Mama Pastors had a few tears this last week. But who knows, we're sending our inheritance off to be trained and equipped in the things of God. For some of you, you know, 
some of you parents in this place, you know, handing over your child to the Lord can be a painful process. But we know she's in safe hands. Amen? Amen. And so we thank God for Apostle Tommy and for Prophetess Tamer. We're also blessed. Uh, Apostle Carol um, is an incredible leader in Rig Nation. If you're not aware, she heads up now um, the prayer movement. She is our chief prayer officer globally. So she looks after the whole global network in the area of prayer. She's pretty much doing a prayer meeting from 12 o'clock till 5 p.m. every single day. That's like five hours of prayer every single day. How awesome is that? Can we just honor that for a moment? (laughs) And on top of that, she joins us every morning for Rig London prayer. Yeah. Where's my Rig London prayer warriors in the morning? If you join, come on, okay. I I tell you, if you told me three months ago that we'd get up every single day and pray together, I would have said, I am not a morning person. Can anyone relate? Yeah. But you know what, now we've been doing it, I can't wait. It sets me up for the rest of the day. It's like, come on, gathering together with my friends to pursue God. What a way to start the day. Can we thank God for this part of the ministry? So we're blessed. In fact, we also have an event coming up this Friday. We've got another ladies event, Radiance, coming up this Friday. Prophetess. Lucetia is our host. We've also got Bianca Norman with us. Bianca is an incredible woman of God. Has anyone heard of Bianca Norman? Yeah, come on. At the back there, they, they know Bianca. Uh, but Bianca is head of a, a Bible college um, in... Um, oh, come on. Yay. Stand up for me a minute. Stand up. Come on. Will you give them a round of applause? Come on. That's, I, I knew there was some fire on you guys. I knew it. I knew it. And so Bianca heads up the Bible College there in Welland Garden City um, with uh, Brad Norman as well, who's a friend of this house. And they're seeing an incredible move of God over in Welland Garden City. I mean, that church is just exploding. And so Bianca's going to be with us with Prophetess Keisha to bring the word. Just encourage everyone. Yeah, I'm really excited for Friday night. We are launching our second Radiance. We had such a great time um, last month. We are going to do a Radiance every month with um, a new guest speaker and myself. And um, we basically, we're just having a night of worship, a night of prophetic encounters. The last one, we actually had um, baptisms. We had healings. In fact, one of our guys, the actual, one of the PA guys who, who was at our ladies event, he um, got healed. So we just think, we give God all the glory. We had such a great night and I'm so looking forward to ha- hosting um, Pastor Bianca Norman, Lee Norman here in our house. She is a fireball and I really believe that she's got such a great message to bring on Friday. I'm super, super excited for her and I really encourage you, if you're a lady, sorry guys, Please come. It is an army arising, and I really believe that God has given radiance to this house to, for the, our women to pick up our swords, our women to charge on the battlefield, and to go out there and to just get healed, equipped, and empowered. And so, Friday night, radiance here at 7 o'clock. Please come. Keisha said to me when she was uh, birthing this ministry, she said, I want to do a ladies event, but she says, I don't want it to be fluffy. (laughs) Who knows, there's too many fluffy ladies events. She was like, if I'm doing it, I want to raise up women with swords. And I was like, (laughs) this is the vision for Radiance. We're raising an army in all areas, and so come along, be a part of it. We're also blessed with some incredible worship at Radiance. Gloria, give everyone a wave. Yeah. 
And so Gloria leads our worship at Radiance and does an incredible job. Um, also to say, if you've not realized, but we are now meeting every other week. So every other week there is a service. So if you want to know when we meet next, it's every other week. In fact, our next service is on October the 16th. Uh, so not next Sunday, the Sunday after. We're going after signs and wonders. We're going after healings and deliverance. We call it Supernatural Sunday. Who was here two weeks ago when we had the Sheilas? If you were here for the Sheilas, wow. There was a moment in that service where a shout went up, and it went on, and it went on. Who was here for that? Come home. Man, I feel the glory just talking about that moment. It was like the heavens opened up. I literally thought we were about to get raptured. That's, that's what it was like. It was glorious, and so we're doing the same again, Supernatural Sunday, and Steve Tebbs here with us for that. In fact, let's just do one more. So two weeks after that, we have an incredible, fiery Brazilian in the house, Gabriel Modisto. Anyone heard of Gabriel Modisto? Yeah, come on. I tell you, this is a guy carrying revival at the moment. He pastors a church in Birmingham, but we got connected, just the Lord connected us supernaturally. And I watched one of his sermons and was like, whoa, this guy is part of our tribe. Who knows what I'm talking about? I was like, this is a prophet who's carrying revival. That is what we are in Rig Nation. Come on, if you're a prophet carrying revival, give me a wave. Come on, come on, that's what some of you are. And so Gabriel is in the house. He's going to be bringing the word of the Lord, so don't miss that. I'm going to receive our tithes and offerings now as well. Can we put the, that on there? I'm going to do this because the last two times we've met, I've forgotten to do the offering. So if you think we're all about money in Rig Nation, you are completely wrong because we didn't even do the offering the last two times that we came. So will you give me a minute to receive an offering just for a moment? Here's how it works. If you take out your phones, if you want to just try this to see if it works, you can take out your phone and point it at the screen. I would suggest this little corner over here, which will take you to PayPal. You can give via PayPal. If you prefer to give via bank transfer, the sort code and account number are on the left. If you don't know how to give via sort code and account number, I worry which century you're living in right now. And so I believe everyone can give into rig, into these things. Obviously, as you know, we don't come begging for money. In fact, Apostle Tony supports Rig London. Let me, let, I don't know if you heard that. What we do here on a Sunday night and what we do in Rig London is supported by Apostle Tony. We couldn't do it just with your giving. It takes the whole global rig movement in order for us to be able to do this as often as we do it. And our dream is to have our own center in the UK purely for rig. A school for rig. We're going to see an equipping center and we'll see a, a whole apostolic center built in the UK um, here in rig. And so we believe God has great things in store, but we do need you to support us with your giving. Give where you're fed. Amen. Also along those same lines, if you're not currently a partner with uh, Rig Nation, then we encourage you to go on to the Rig Nation website. You can become a partner with Apostle Tommy's ministry, and you also get free access uh, to all of his teaching materials. There's about 100 courses that you can be a part of um, through that, that teaching on that website. Um, in fact, uh, we have another conference coming up. If you were at Occupy, give me a wave. Was there anyone here? Come on. Who had a good time at Occupy? Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, but we're planning on doing another event in March. And so in March, we're going to be doing another event. We are doing another Occupy in September. We're going to do another event in March. And I'll let you into a secret. But Rig London and partners are going to find out about the event first. And so if you're not currently connected on some way with Rig London or partnership, I encourage you to do that. Because last time we sold out and we literally had hundreds of people trying to get tickets. I thought that the tickets were going to start selling on StubHub because there was so much interest in the tickets. You could have made a profit on your ticket. That's how keen people were to come. Isn't that awesome? 
that's just so powerful what God was doing. And so you can get involved that way. Can I just pray over your finances? Is that okay? Just reach out a hand right now. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this giving house. We thank you for them sowing seed into this offering. And Lord, I pray that it would be pressed down, shaken together, running over in their life. Father, we pray for such divine provision to be released over them right now. We thank you that even as the economy shakes, that we are part of a kingdom that will never be shaken. We thank you that we don't look to the banks for our provision, but we acknowledge that you could feed us with ravens. You could feed us with a, a, a widow's oil. You could feed us with angels. We thank you that divine provision rests in heaven. And Lord, we thank you in the realm of the glory, there is supernatural provision. That even in the ark of the covenant, there was manna. And Lord, we pray for fresh manna to fall from heaven upon every single life tonight. Holy Spirit, in this moment, we bless your people. I pray they would not chase after blessings, but blessings would chase after them. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. Can you give the Lord some praise? Can you thank him for that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for letting me do some housekeeping. I want the team just to release some, some words. It's what we're here for. Are you, are you here to hear the voice of the Lord? Is there expectation in the room? Come on. Yeah, I've been praying in the week, and um, I said to John, um, I've got a word for somebody, but I don't know who it's for or maybe a group of you. But um, I just kept getting the word extraordinary. All week, every day, extraordinary. Extraordinary calling on your life, extraordinary. And today during um, Pastor John's preach this morning, <laughs> sorry, I didn't listen, <laughs> but um, I really felt God gave me a download and God told me about her or her, H-U-R in the Bible, however you want to pronounce it, just call him H. And um, I really felt for some of you, a group of you or whoever it may be for, that actually God's called you to be a her. And he's not mentioned in the Bible an awful lot. In fact, he's only mentioned three times. And I was like, God, who is, who is her? I don't even know who this is. And God told me that actually the her is the most important and vital body of person in the body of Christ. Do you know why? Because he's the one that goes unthanked, unappreciated, not thought of. But his job is very important, is very vital in the body. And I believe it's for somebody that actually you've been called to be a her. That actually you're called to stand by somebody. A her raised, held Moses' hands up. Without her, Joseph wasn't able to win the battle for victory was it taken to Israel. And I believe there's a group of you or somebody that actually there's a call upon your life to be a her. Somebody that comes out from certain circumstances and then goes back into the shadows. Somebody that doesn't need to be recognized, that actually you're quite happy taking a second seat. That, you know, some people's call on their lives isn't called to preach a perfect message, to sing a perfect song on a worship team, or to play an important role in the church. But actually, I just want to tell you, that role is vital. To be that extraordinary person. The one that's got a calling upon your life that will do extraordinary things. The ones that will come out, hi, I'm here, and go back in again. And I just want to say to you that you are appreciated. We do see you. You know, you are important to the body of Christ. More important. And I, I just want to tell you, you are vital to the church, to the body of Christ, that you are noticed, you are loved, you are appreciated. And so, Father, I just pray right now that those who have a calling of her over their life, Father, that they would be seen, oh God, that they would not stay in the shadows for long, oh God, that they would come and do their job powerfully. Father, that they would come and do their job and be noticed, that they wouldn't stay hidden. And so, Father, I just pray over every 
person right now, oh God, that they will be extraordinary for you, oh God. That you will place a gift in upon their lives to be extraordinary. The ones that don't want to be normal, oh God. Father, I pray right now that you would call them out to do the extraordinary things. That they would never doubt what you say to them, oh God. Lord, when you tell them to do something extraordinary and it's not the norm. Father, I pray right now that you would release them from the shadows. And that they would do extraordinary things for you, oh God. In your mighty name, Lord, we pray. I just feel for, um, uh, yeah, my brother over here in the, uh, yeah, will you stand up for me? Yeah, for you, yeah, yeah. I actually feel this word, I just couldn't, I kept looking at you the whole time she was prophesying. I feel in some ways this word is for you, that actually you've been in a season of hiddenness. And it can feel like, Lord, what about me? And even as you've done things and you've served him, it's almost been like there's been no honor. In fact, I heard the Lord say he's just faced dishonor, 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 just different things that have been said, different situations that have just broken you down. But the Lord says, I want you to honor him tonight. The Lord says, I, I, I want you to be honored. In fact, I want to just to just give him a round of applause and just honor this man just for a moment. I don't know you, but I, I want you to know this. The Lord sees everything. And it can feel like, Lord, what are you doing? The Lord says, I see every, every little sacrifice you've made in this season. And the Lord says, my eyes are upon you. And even though it may look like nothing is happening in this season, the Lord says, I'm working behind and there is an appointed time that I've called for you. And I see a time in the future where you'll begin to elevate. And even the Lord says, as, as we've blown the shofar tonight, it's not by chance that you are here. The Lord says, I'm ushering you into a new season. And this season will be marked by honor. This season will be marked by honor in your life. And the Lord says, I've even put a spirit in you that's one that would lift arms, but it's in the area of worship. And the Lord says, it's in the area of intercession. For there's a gift of a, a trumpet that the Lord's put within your mouth. And the Lord says, your voice is my trumpet in this season. And so, Father, we release it right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, just put a hand on him for me just there. Yeah, yeah, Father, we pray right now. Let the trumpet sound from his mouth right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Shambi, Mondo, Silabende, Kirabaye, Shambabaye. I see like a sword coming from your mouth. Even as you release prophetic song, even as you release prophetic decrees, the Lord says, My word will be a sword in your mouth in this season. We release it right now. The arrows of the Lord out of your lips. The Lord says, I've called you to shake, shake the heavens. I've called you to shake the spiritual realms. For your word is a hammer in his spirit. Your word is a hammer in his mouth. Father, we release it right now in Jesus' name. We release that prophetic anointing over his life. Shambe, mondo, silabende, hey. Mande, silabende, kuda, bashande, behe. Father, I release it right now. We release it right now. See it bubbling up, even in this moment. It's bubbling up out of your spirit right now in Jesus' name. Like a fire shut up in his bones. We release it now. Like a fire shut up in the bones. And Lord, we declare right now, this new season, I feel the Lord would say there's a new mantle for you in this season. There's a new mantle for you in this season. We release it now in Jesus' name. We release it right now in Jesus' name. I feel such a warfare on you right now in this season. I want to fight with you. It's just like an aggression rising up in my spirit. Even as the enemies have encamped around you, the Lord says, you may look like you're surrounded, but you're surrounded by Him. Open your eyes tonight. See the more are for you than are against you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Will you give the Lord some thanks? Hey. Anyone? Heavenly Father, we honor and praise you. We love you and glorify you. Thank you that your blood is speaking to us tonight. Uh, that young man, why top you? Yeah what the father says to you he says son i am so proud of you he says i love you greatly and he says i've given you a leader's mantle he said but that mantle holds the ability of teaching 
Holt's ability to be able to draw people and gather people. And the Father says that I've even placed the word on you, new frontiers, declares the Lord. For the Lord says, in the area that I will take you, I'm going to establish a new understanding and a new way of doing things. For the Lord says, you've been almost in one capacity quiet. You've almost not believed in the person that you are. But you've been assessing things and you've been looking and you've been preparing. And the Lord says this, that son, your preparation season is coming to an end. And now the father says that now I'm going to release that anointing and that mantle that I've got on the inside of you. And he says that which I begin to establish for you, which is in the training and the equipping of my saints for the new things that I am causing them to do. That I will even cause there to be a networking with other nations. And so the Father says, do not look lightly on what appears to be a small seed. For the Father says, like any seed, once you put it in the ground and you begin to let water flow, the Father says, the Son does the rest of the work. And the Lord says, that's what I'm doing with you. And he says, son, I hear you right now. Worry not for the finances. I hear you right now. Worry not for the finances. It has nothing to do with what you need to make. It has everything to do with what I have given, declares the Lord, and what I am giving upon you and the Lord says I know you're looking to your left and to your right on the inside and saying how can this be how can God just isolate and pinpoint me the Lord says I know the ones that I call just like it was for David declares the Lord so shall it be for you but others will look at you and say why was he chosen but the Lord says I know the people because I know their heart and the father says I'm proud of your heart and I love you son and so we bless you into the calling that God has over you. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, and I just felt for you as a whole group, I felt the Lord say that something is being born in Bournemouth. That actually there's something being birthed in you as a group. I, I, I believe you're about to experience a taste of revival. That the Lord's getting ready to do a supernatural move. And often he brings the prophetic word before he releases it. And as you've gathered in this place tonight, I just see such a hunger upon you as a group. You know, hunger attracts the presence of God. But I believe he's brought you here because the Lord wants to release this prophetic word in this season. He declares a thing before he does it. Because it's not your making, it's his making. And so right now, we just reach out a hand over this whole group. They're all from Bournemouth. And Father, we release a revival in Bournemouth right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do through this group. That you're going to birth something in the heavens that touches every life. I see people, young people gathering from all around the area, coming to pursue God. That you would just say, our one thing, our one desire is heaven in this season. And so, Father, we pray that you put a supernatural fire on each and every one of them tonight. Supernatural fire in their bones right now. In the name of Jesus, mark them for revival. Mark each and every life for revival right now. Ruin them for your glory. Stir up that spirit inside of them that would contend for the more. That they would say tonight, we will not give heaven any rest until we see the more release, until we see heaven come in Bournemouth. Father, I pray tonight an anointing for revival. Birth something in their spirits for Bournemouth tonight. Birth something in their spirits, oh God. Father, we put a mantle of revival upon them tonight, each and every one of them. A supernatural hunger for a visitation, that they would contend for the visitation contend for the visitation mande silabende kuda bashande behe mondo silabende he and i feel the lord would say to you i'm sorry i'm picking on you as well my brother but i feel there's a prophetic anointing upon your life that actually the lord has called you as a prophet and it's not just to prophesy but there is an office of prophet that he's released upon your life and it almost feels like a samuel that in this season you've been going Lord, is that you? 
And the Lord says, it's my voice you're hearing in this season. I see you going through a season of equipping and training. But as his voice becomes clearer in your life, you're going to see a fresh authority. And I see the Lord releasing you to nations. The Lord says, I've called you as a prophet to nations. Not just to the UK, not just to the Philippines. But the Lord says, I put nations on the inside of you. I even see that Africa's been in your heart. And there's been times where you've been crying out for Africa and saying, God, would you send us there? And the Lord says, I've heard your prayers. I'm sending you forth in this season. And he's gathering Aaron's, Aaron's and hers around you. That even in this group, there are those that have been lifting up your arms in this season. For the Lord says, my anointing is upon you. We release it in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord some thanks. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord has shown me if, um, two people specifically for healing. And I've only been able, usually I can identify you, but I've only been able to know that they're both women. And one of them, you've got a complication in your stomach area. And there's something wrong. And I, I can see it in the side here. If that's you, let me know right now. Because if you're in here, God's going to heal you straight away. Something going on in here. Is that any of you? Is that, is that a man? So I had it wrong. Come forward. That's fine. That's fine. I know you're in here. Okay. It's just kind of literally, in, it, and it's, it's in the side, isn't it? Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Holy fire. The Lord says, I've also got a song in you. I put a voice on you. The Father says, I'm going to use you like a trumpet. I'm going to blow my paradise through you. In the name of Jesus, spirit of affirmity, spirit of affliction, I evict you right now out of this son's entire body. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. <laughs> All pain be gone with immediate effect. Right now, leave. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. There it is. You'll never have a problem again. It will never come back. That's the promise of the Lord. This isn't a runner. Rather, it's run away. Because Father, he says, I love you and I'm proud of you. And I've got a song I'm going to release in you. So Father, we declare fresh fire on your son right now. We fill his belly with a fresh fire. We fill his belly with a fresh fire. You see, the Lord says, I take away the pain, but then I replace it with my fame. For the Father says, I'm going to make my fame. I'm going to make my fame known in you. That's his love. That's his love. That's what he did on the cross for you. You're going to heal the sick. You're going to walk in the ways the disciples walk, declares the Lord, because you've been hungry and you've been asking, Father, I want to pray and see your power move and set the nations free. And the Lord says, Son, yes and amen. That was always your destiny. So, Father, we replace <laughs> right now that which the enemy meant for harm. We replace right now with that word you just released right into your belly, right into your spirit, right into the, who God says you are. And he says, son, I love you. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Can you test it? Are you able to test it? I can move it now. And when I came here, I just, I, I don't know what happened, but my tummy is so weak. But now I don't know. How's it feeling now? It's good. It's good? Yeah, it's good. Come on, give him the praise. Give him the praise. That will remain with you. And there's a prophetic word over you. The Lord says, open up that mouth, young man. I'm going to fill it with something new. So we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. It's a pleasure. i got one more if we've got time. Yeah. I heard somebody in here has fibromyalgia. If that's you, come out right now. Fibromyalgia. It's a 
a, a, a sickness on the body that makes you feel like you've got no energy. No matter how much you try, you keep feeling that you lose your energy. If that's you, come forward. Ha, that's funny. Because God actually pointed you out to me earlier. He did say that was you. I should have been brave. You see, <laughs> even, the, even the prophets, they still got to be brave. Hello, daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for your daughter. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. You said, you, I can hear you talking to the Lord. You said, Lord, I've had this pray for so many times. Oh, and the Lord says, but this is the final time. This is the last time. I'm going to give you energy and I'm going to set you free. Just because I love you and that's my mercy, says the Lord. That's my mercy. That's my mercy because I love you. <laughs> oh, he's good, isn't he? <laughs> In the name of Jesus, spirit of infirmity, spirit of affliction, fibromyalgia, I evict you right now from this body. Get out and never come back. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And we, we replace a prayer in you and we declare this. Oh, vibrancy and energy, fire and power and testimony. We declare you like a bolt of lightning running for God for everyone to see. We declare over you new shoes like the fireworks of heaven that you will use. The Lord says, daughter, I'm proud of you for you've been a mother to the girls and to the guys that I'm training up to. You see, I see you. The Lord says, I'm proud of you. And I've got more in store for you, more in store for you. The Father says, evangelist, I call you. A prophetess, I call you. One that can walk the streets and one can go into the places where people can't normally go to. And the Lord says, see, I've used your cheeky humor. I've even used that place where you're able just to be the heartbeat of the energy of the people. And the Father says, I'm going to do that in a new way for you. And so we declare from this day forward, you will never experience a loss of energy again. And we thank Jesus for his love for you. And we thank him for the plans he's got for you. Because he says this about you. He says, I know you've been working for me. And I know you've been asking on me for more. And I know you've seen yourself in a place of training. But the Lord says, I've also shown you of your calling. For I've called you a mother to many. And the Father says, and because of this, I'm going to cause you to start up your own ministry. I'm going to start you to cause your own ministry. And the Father says, worry not what you need to say. Because that will be the word as you pray. I'll be the word as you pray. So, Father, we just say thank you for your daughter. For she's one that knows the secret place. And the Father says, out of the secret place, I'm sending you. So we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, come on, give the Lord a clap. Selena, come as well. I, I also, as we were praying for you, um, the Lord told me that you're a dreamer, that you, ha you have lots of dreams. And the Lord declared that you're a Joseph. In fact, I saw you having a dream, and I feel you've actually seen Jesus in a dream, that he's come to you in the middle of a dream in the night. And the Lord said there's a prophetic anointing, but it's going to be in the area of dreams that he began to use you, dream interpretation that he's putting in your spirit, that he's going to give you almost like, people are going to start gathering around you and saying, I had a dream. What do you feel the Lord's saying to me about this dream? And the Lord says he's going to release you in that area in a fresh and new way. So I don't know if we can just, we just reach out a hand. Just, I want to just release that. What's your name again? Georgia. Yeah, Father, we just thank you for Georgia. We thank you for this prophetic gift. In. And Lord, I pray even in Welling Garden City that she would begin to be known for someone that is carrying dreams. Father, I pray release of uh, spiritual understanding right now in Jesus' name. 
that it would be like revelation, it would be like prophecy that would flow out of her mouth, that when people share dreams, it would be like, this is what the Lord says. And that, that even they would come to her, that, that others would gather from around the area, that they would say, hey, I had a dream, and I heard there's someone um, in, in the school that can interpret dreams. Father, I pray even kings would come to her, that she would be a Joseph in this generation, that even the cupbearer would come, that there'd be a word that says there is someone who interprets dreams. So Father, we release that over her in this season. And Lord, I pray that you give her visitations in the night, night visions, that you'd show up in her room, that you'd show up in her sleep, that even angels would minister to her in her sleep, that even as her body would struggle for strength, we thank you for the healing. But God, I pray that in the sleep, that there would be visitation in this season in the rest that there be supernatural deliverance for many in this season release revelation over a life in Jesus name amen amen come let's pray for you hello daughter <laughs> No que no tuya no sea nai, no te no tuya tu no so fresh fire of your spirit. We breathe fresh fire in you. Fresh fire of your spirit, we breathe fresh fire in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of affirmity, spirit of affliction, toothache, pain, swelling, inflammation, I evict you right now. And from this moment forward, there be no more pain in you. Thank you, Jesus. Fantastic. How's it feeling? Oh. It's gone. Four weeks she's had that for. After my children, my mum's at the current stage, two root canals, three antibiotics. I've just took painkillers before I come here, and it's still froze. It's fine. I've got nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> come on, Jesus. There's a name. God's got a name for you. God's got a name for you. God's got a name for you. He calls you his warrior princess. He says, you're my warrior princess. He said, whatever you do, nothing will be impossible for you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Wow, the Holy Spirit is really in the room, isn't he? Um, young man with the Calvin Klein jeans. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, he's, he calls you a David. One that plays the harps and demons leave. One that was prepared in the, in the battlefield. You know, you fought with lions and you fought with bears. So that when a Goliath comes in front of you, all you have to do is just sling a shot and go straight at it. And the Lord says, it may seem like you're a timid person, but the Lord says, I have kept you this way because there is so much power inside of you. The Lord says, don't be one that thinks you are the way that you, you are to others. But the Lord says he calls you a different name. The Lord says in this season there is a power that is coming outside in, inside of you that will illuminate outside of you, that will engulf every enemy that comes around you. The Lord says that you will be one that is, I, I don't know why, but I'm keep, I keep on seeing like instruments. And the Lord says as you, as you play instruments, the Lord says demons will leave. The Lord says um, that the, the Lord says that sickness will bow down at the mention of 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 your uh, of His name through the keys. The Lord says, "In this season, I am calling you a David." The Lord says that it, you're, you've been like the disciples 
where Jesus called them and they had to leave their work, they had to leave their fathers. And they had to lay down everything before him and leave and go on a journey. The Lord says, I am setting you ablaze for I have sent you with a word in your mouth for a city. I don't know why, but I see like, it's like this group in Bournemouth, you're going to replicate things that um, like Maverick City, like ho, ho, it's going to be like holy music nights and it's going to be like a, a Maverick City set up. And it's like you're gonna be you're gonna be gathering and you're gonna release videos, and through those videos, people are going to be set free. When when, when Apostle said um, uh, uh, born in Bournemouth, the, the the Lord is putting a spotlight on Bournemouth, and it's gonna be because of you guys. And so, Father, right now we release that fire. Father, we release Father that worshippers anointing. Father, we release that David that David anointing right now. And Father, we say, Father that demons will bow down at the mention followed of even their names in Jesus name there's a, there's a lady at, um, at the back, the one in red I, I kept on seeing oil all over you and the Lord says your oil hasn't run out your season's not over the Lord says your season has actually just started the spirit of the Lord says that I'm going to bring people around you that you will mentor the Lord says, in this season, I am going to put, put people around you that you'll pour into. And the Lord says, your oil is, your jar is still full of oil. The Lord says, where the enemy has tried saying it's time out, the Lord says, no, I've added some time. And the Lord says, you are right, um, you are just right on time. And the Lord says, you are going to be one that's even um, goes into different cities. And those cities will be born again because a, a mother of the nation has come back. I keep on hearing mother of nation. The Lord says that there, there was a time where people came against you. And people said they turned against you. They turned their back against you. And it's like in that time you lost stuff. You lost different stuff. But the Lord says I'm restoring the days that the locust ate. I'm restoring the days that the locust ate. And so follow right now we release that over her right now in Jesus name. And Father, right now we say, Father, restore double. Father, even restore a hundredfold, Father, to her in the name of Jesus. And Father, we say, Father, from this time on, Father, she will never lack in Jesus' name. Amen. Just one more thing I just want to do. I just want us to stand up. And I've been hearing this, this song in my, 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 my spirit since we've been up here. And I want us to all sing it together. And I believe as we sing it, the Holy Spirit is going to touch people in this room. I believe demons are going to leave. And, and I, I'm not one to normally say this, but I believe there's somebody here that has come with a wrong intention. And I believe as we sing this song, their intention will be changed. And so we're just going to sing this simple song. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for your goodness and your mercies. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Come on, from the bottom of your heart. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for your Son and your blood. Thank you, my Lord, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Come on, just keep on singing that in your own way. Because as we say thank you to him, we allow him to reign in this place. I want you to say it from the bottom of your heart. Some of you are meant to be dead, but he saved us. We are saying thank you, Jesus. 
I just want to release over this congregation that the Father loves you. The Father loves you. I just want you to say out loud, the Father loves me. Receive the love of the Father today. Receive the love of the Father, the unconditional love of the Father. He loves you so much that he sent Jesus. Hallelujah. And in Psalm 127, it said, blessed, blessed, is the, blessed are the children, blessed are children, and it describes them as a quiver, as, as a quiver full of arrows. And so we often quote that scripture over parents, but the Lord says, you, my children, are arrows in my quiver. You are the weapons of my warfare. And so I believe the Lord's saying tonight, tonight that because you are sons you are also warriors because you are sons and the two things aren't separate it's because you are sons that you are my warriors I just want you to give a shout if you want to be the Lord's warrior tonight if you're accepting that call tonight you're accepting it that call tonight if you're accepting it if you're accepting it Praise Jesus, praise Jesus. And I hear the Lord say that he's wanting to shoot you. He wants to shoot you into your towns and cities across the nations. And, he's, and in, in Isaiah 49, it says, Lord, you have made my mouth a sharpened arrow. And, I, and so I believe the Lord wants to release you tonight to be, sh to be shot from the Lord's bow into your situations, into your workplaces, into your cities, into, into, your, into the nation, because your mouth is a sharpened arrow in his hand. If you want to say, yes, Lord, I want to be shot into the town, into the nation, I just want you to respond to him now. Put your hands up and say, yes, Lord, send me, send me, send me, Lord, send me. Send me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we release the arrows from this place tonight in the name of Jesus. We release the arrows in Jesus' name. And I hear and I, I I sense that this week, in fact, every day this week, there will be a word for you to be release in your situations. It won't it's it's, it's not just something that will happen one day in a few months' time, but every day. Ah, I, I'm, the, I'm hearing a, like a roll call. I'm hearing the Lord shouting out names like he's taking the register. It's like he's saying, who's going to be shot today? Who's going to be shot today? I'm hearing Stephen. I'm hearing Helena. I'm he hearing Eleanor. Just loads of names where the Lord's saying, who's ready? Who's ready for me to shoot them? in their situation today. If that's you, if you want to answer, I just, uh, I just encourage you to cry out to the Lord right now. Shoot me, shoot me. Let this be a solemn moment. Let's, Lord, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, Lord, into my city, into my town, into my hospital, into my school. I just want to pray over the group from Bournemouth 
there's been a lot of focus on you tonight and it's not finished yet and um, but sir the one, the one you sir Jesus friend I hear the Lord saying I hear the Lord saying son I see how you have studied I see how you've set aside time even in the midnight hour I see you as being a quite a late person someone who stays up quite late and I'm sensing Lord the Lord saying I've seen how you study how, how you're seeking understanding and you're seeking wisdom and the Lord says because you because you are seeking me in those hours because you're seeking me in in that in that silence and in that solitude I feel the Lord saying that he's revealing his heart to you he's revealing his heart he's revealing his wisdom he's revealing his understanding and I'm sensing the Lord say son as you continue to seek me as you continue to seek me there'll be a message that will grow deep in your heart. There'll be like a fire that will grow inside, inside of you. And then people will say of you, as they said to, to um, the people on the road to Emmaus, that, that he is someone who has spent time with the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. And just for this group as a whole, uh, so are, are you students? Are you, are you nurses? Are you medical? Are you medical? medical here okay okay i just heard the lord say that because you have come to this nation to bring healing to this nation i will be, when i will be sending you back to your own nation to and with healing with healing to bring healing to your own nation and the lord says that you are fire carriers i am stretching your hearts at this time to be fire carriers that you will not only carry the knowledge of my purposes but you'll ca carry the fire the fire of my presence and the lord the lord says that when you go back when you go back even if it's for a holiday to visit your family the lord says you are not returning you're being sent the lord says he's sending you and the things that you have found difficult here the things of god that you found difficult if you found evangelizing difficult if you found teaching difficult or prophesying difficult the Lord says, I'm, bring, I'm sending a breeze and a wind with you. And in your own nation, there will be an ease and you'll find it easy. I hear the Lord say it will be easy that as you pray for your family, you pray for your neighbors in your own nation, it'll, there'll be an ease. And you'll think, wow, wow, being in England must have been like boot camp because it's so easy here. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless this group in Jesus' name. We bless each of the those in the medical field in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah um, I just felt for yourself as well just to come forward for me for a moment and uh, yeah come 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 yeah I just felt as I've watched you throughout the words and I just have seen you carrying each of the prophetic words for different people it's like You've been receiving it on their behalf. And the Lord says, he's called you as a Mary. He's called you as a Mary who sits at his feet and just carries the prophetic words for this group. It's almost like this mother spirit that is placed within you. It's a heart of compassion. And I just saw you just, it's almost like you are just taking the words for them on their behalf, birthing them in your spirit as you minister before the Lord. I feel in this season, the, the Lord just wants to draw near to you in a fresh way. That there's even that hunger and desire in you. That it, I almost see you as the one just pulling everyone along saying, come on, come on. This is what God wants for us. This is what the Lord has for us. And the Lord says, as you minister at his feet, there's fresh oil in this season. There's a fresh wave of oil for you in this season. He says, come to me and buy oil. Buy oil in this season. You've been buying oil. I see it over your life. It just runs so beautifully. There's a fragrance of heaven that's resting over you in this season. And Father, we release it now. In Jesus' name, we just release that oil right now. He loves your heart. He loves your spirit. He says, I'm so in love with her spirit. I'm so in love with her spirit. It's such a pure-hearted spirit that the Lord's placed within you. Such a pure-hearted spirit, just a heart of compassion, broken and contrite. He will never despise that. And so, Father, we just release a fresh oil for her in this season. 
fresh heart from heaven. Your heart for her, Lord. Father, I release it over her in this season. Mande, sila mende, kura bashande behi. Ma sende be kiki raba shanda babu sende he. Mande, sila mende, kura bahala masoto kura maha. Yahala masia, mahala masia, mahala maha. Just find rest in this season. No striving, no struggle, just perfect rest. As you sit at his feet, he's going to do everything else. You don't even need to fear in this season. As you rest in the glory, the Lord's going to take care of everything. Everything that you're wanting, as you rest at his feet, the Lord says, I'm going to take care of it from the glory. From the glory, he's taking care of it. I just see angels being released even now. Just go into family members, go into friends, going to situations. As you dwell in the glory... It's like the Lord says, I'm going to move mountains for her. I'm literally going to move mountains for her in this season as she puts me first. As, as he takes preeminence in this season, he says, I'm moving mountains right now in Jesus' name. Shande be kirraba halama sotokura ba ye. Mondo sila bende he. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. I'd probably seen the thing that's done, um, but I also saw this guy here as well. Could you come and join us as well? I just saw a partnership between you two, and I had this like memory of me and one of my friends when we grew up and we were just going on mission trips together and going to different conferences. And I felt the Lord said he, rem he reminded me of that because that is what you two have. You have this closeness, there's this sisterhood between you. And I saw you working together in healing and deliverance and every time you go out it's like your tears because you're so compassionate towards the lost and so compassionate towards others that your tears are just blasting demons out everywhere left right and center and you know sometimes tears and crying can be seen as a sign of weakness but this is your strength this is your power because the lord is just pouring out his love in and over you and I just pray and just release an increase right now of the love from heaven that he absolutely wrecks your heart for the things that wrecked his uh, even an impartation of healing impartation of deliverance and that people will even start to manifest in your presence whenever you walk into a shop whenever you're walking down the street there's a synergy between you two that as you're going around and, and you're just looking and just saying God what do you want us to do in this land? Who would you want us to speak to? He will highlight these people to you. And, he, and you're going to see some miracles, signs, and wonders that I think even you don't really know what, to, what is coming, to be honest. But we just pray and bless you to be prepared for that. There's a determination and a hunger in your spirit. There's a drawing out. There's a, there's a well. It's like you're eating of him, but you just can't get full. I pray that that never leaves you. I pray that, Father God, you just bless these two. You bless them so much that they just keep digging and digging and digging for your love. They keep digging to know who you are and understanding who you are as their father. That, Father, as they go and love others, people will just know. They will be able to see that you were all over these two. Thank you, Jesus. We bless them with a fresh fire right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. Come on. Wow, awesome. Awesome. So I'm coming back over here again, and I feel like I feel like on the second row there's a fire. There's a fire, you girls, you three girls. There's a fire over you. There's a fire over you. And the Lord says, daughters, you are not you are not babies. You are not spiritual babies. For, spiritual, for babies do not recognize the voice of the Father. But, but and I sense him say, I'm, daughters, I've put such a hunger and a thirst after my presence in you. And the Lord, the Lord says, the Lord says that, that fire, that, that, that hunger and thirst will sustain you through the season ahead. And the Lord says it's not, it's not how much you know but it's how much you seek. The Lord says, the Lord says, I am breaking, I am breaking the hard places inside of you.
that you may be God seekers, that you may hunger and thirst after me, and that you'll be saying to your friends, I don't even want to go out today. I just want to seek the Lord. And the Lord's increasing, increasing the, your, your stamina in his presence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we just impart and release that fire, that fire and that sustainability in your presence. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, that there will be ones who will seek your face, that will not want to leave your presence, that they will, that they will, Father, that they will even cry and be sorrowful for the time that they cannot step, spend with you. So rich will be their hunger. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we bless them now in Jesus' name. Amen. Just got one tiny one here. And I just have a word for you, Alex. And I just heard the Lord say, say son, you, you're, you, you're seeking me in such in a serious way. And the Lord says, says that, you, that you've been at this place before. But, and, I, and I sense the Lord saying, saying, my preparation will not fail. And I'm hearing him say, say that um, you've, heard, you've heard those that seek God towards many things, towards sons, towards seekers, towards disciples. But the, I hear the Lord say he's calling you as his groomsman, that he's calling you as his groomsman and his preparation in you will not fail. God bless you. I just felt corporately um, there's something that I want to encourage you with. Um, and over the last five or six years, um, God's kind of got me in a season where I've become a bit of a theology nut. So I'm not going to go into a lecture now and tell you all my thoughts of theology. But there's been something on my heart this week, and there's something that's just always a passion of mine, which is about the tra transformation of your mind and changing the way that we think. Now, something happened over the last couple of weeks where... I, I heard the Holy Spirit and I ignored the nudge to not do something because I couldn't see any other way around it. And I thought, oh, it's okay. Like, I don't, I don't know what the risk is in that. Turns out that I made a mistake. <laughs> and actually, I'm like, oh, kicking myself. Holy Spirit, I knew you were nudging me. And then I started to reflect and think, isn't it funny how even in these moments we can fantasize and we can ask God to show us these things and give us a sign and give us a sign and he gives us the sign and then we can easily just go hmm, but there's there's nothing like that no red flags around everything seems legit it's fine and we don't trust that God knows more than what we actually know and I thought wow okay thank you Lord for the opportunity to realize something within myself that I needed to change, and I pray that I, know I didn't do this again, but I actually use it as a lesson. As I move forward and have to make even more important decisions in my life, may that be something that I now reflect on and I learn through you. Then all of a sudden, I felt doubt. And I was just like, what if he doesn't want to help me? Because you already nudged me, you already told me that, you know, don't do that. And I didn't listen. And again, the Holy Spirit came back again and was just like, am I not your father? When you're hungry, do I give you a, a rock instead of bread? And then I start to remember those scriptures. And I start to remember all the times when Moses messed up, when David messed up, when all these others messed up. And it, honestly, it wasn't my intention. Like, I didn't sin or anything like that. I just didn't, I didn't know. I, I just needed perhaps more and then I started to put myself in a position where I thought, I'm not going to allow the enemy to waste any more of my life or my time dwelling in, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, Lord, you're not going to help me. And going around this hamster wheel, that doesn't serve any of us. And I said, Lord, when I get an opportunity, I'm going to encourage everyone else to do exactly the same thing and change your mind about a situation. Because I had to make a decision to say that that is not my God to now walk away from me, you nudged me and you said, don't do that, Kelly, that's not a very good idea because it's going to be, it's going to use your energy and it's going to be painful. But 
you know what, I, I just started to declare, and I said, no, you're my father, you want to help me regardless, and you're going to help me, and I'm going to have a testimony that this is going to turn around, and actually it's going to be made better again. And I wanted to encourage you that whatever it is that you're going through, when you feel that doubt that maybe God isn't going to help you, just go back to the Bible, go back to the times when you've seen that his love has always come in and endured, always come in and done something. And then earlier before we started to pray, I saw Jesus on the cross. And I thought, how many times do we keep going back? We keep going back to that. And it's not to say that not to reverence God and not to just reflect on an amazing thing that he did. But sometimes as Christians, we go back to an old mindset. We go back to something he'd done and we, we reflect as if that was it. But can I tell you that he rose again? Can I tell you that he is living and that there is so much more? And so I'm... I'm digesting all this information and I'm just like, yes, Lord, I don't know why we keep going back to doubting and going and feeling almost humble in those mindsets, humble in those reflections, when actually you have risen again. And I understand the concept of dying every day to self. I, I get it. But when I reflect on that and I think, but when I've died, I've died and I've rose again, no one can kill me again. So I'm going to live every day alive. And I want to encourage you to live every single day risen again. Because you've all given your life to Jesus. You've all been baptized. So you've died and you've risen again. So continually live in the mind of Christ without going back. Stop taking yourself back to the grave. And so I wanted to ask if anybody is suffering with depression or anxiety because even when I came in, my heart was just fluttering. And I just felt like, oh, distracted and all over the place. And I just wanted to ask if anybody needs us today to just help you, to kickstart you this week, because I understand there's times in life when we've just been kicked all week, and we're like, listen, brother, sister, I just need you to help hold my hands up and get me through this week. Is there anybody that maybe needs that encouragement or that prayer to come to the front? Then we will be happy to pray for you. And then just one other thing, I just wanted to um, test myself and stretch myself, but the gentleman in the orange with the black, is there, any, is there anybody in your life that means a lot to you called Jeffrey? It was just a name that was resonating when I, I was looking over here and I just heard, yes, you, yes, you. <laughs> yeah, is there an, a man in your life or anybody close to you called Jeffrey that maybe means something to you? No, okay, that's fine. I didn't want to leave it and then just one day. So, okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you meet Jeffrey tomorrow, then please come and let us know. Amen. Awesome. Um, if that witness with you, uh, we're going to clear these couple of rows. I don't know if you guys can have them. Can we just honor our team for a moment? Yeah, come on, give them some honor. And so let's just, yeah, just honor them. Just come on, give them one more round of applause. We love them. We thank God for them. We're going to clear these two rows. If, if that was you and you say, yeah, you want some breakthrough, I'm going to ask you to come forward. We're going to pray over you. If you want some ministry time, then we're going to pray for you as well. So just come to the front. Worship team, if you come back and join me, Pastor Ade. Um, I know Carol's going to prophesy over you. I'll let her do that on the way up. But, you know, the Lord's going to break something. Do, do you love our, our pastor Ade in this house, our worship, our man of God? Come on, give him some praise. We're just going to worship. If you want prayer, yeah, just come forward. Just come forward for a moment. We want to lay hands on you. If you want prayer, come and get some prayer. I believe it's deliverance season in the body of Christ. Let me say that again. I believe it's deliverance season in the body of Christ. If you want the Lord to touch you, you want to get set free, is there anything in your life that you need to see shift, come up to this altar um, tonight. Uh, I tell you, the spirit of prophecy is so strong in this place. I believe we could carry on. But my sister over there with the baby, uh, yeah, you. I, 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 are you here together? Or are you here in a group? Yeah, yeah, all of you together, yeah. I've got a real simple word for you. It's, it's, it's just this. You're in the right place. 
And as that word was being released, you've had doubts going, have we made the right decisions? And the Lord says, you're in the right place. You're in his A1 will in this season. Don't doubt where he's put all of you. You're in the right place. Hear the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just come forward if you want prayer. And uh, Addy, will you lead us, my friend? I know he's built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I did not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. My hope is built, say, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood. Jesus
myself. Be the wind inside myself. Be the echo of the wind. Oh, he's my son. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins. Be the echo of my days. Oh, he is my. Let the king of my heart.
the voices and the drums. Shira, say, Sing it over yourself. Sing it over your household. Yaira. We believe that. I will be. Let our King 
Could not hold the veil torn before you silence the boast of sin and the grave. Now the heavens are wrong, the praise of your glory for you. You have no 
shout it out. Come on. You have, say you have overcome every high thing. They must come down. You have, you have overcome. Let all the other names fade away. Whoa. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away until there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names, let all the other names fade away.
sing it out. You are Lord. You are Lord. And you are Lord. And you are Lord. And you are Lord. And every time of us come Jesus Christ is And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is
I want to take a moment in this holy, this holy moment, I want to take a moment just to give an opportunity, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I don't ever presume, but if you're here tonight, then I want to tell you that Jesus Christ died on the cross, he was buried in the tomb, and three days later, he rose again from the dead, and the Bible says that if you'll turn from sin and you'll turn to him, then you can be born again. And if you're here tonight, you'd say, I need to ask Jesus to come into my life. I want to be born again. And I just want to pray for you. If that's you, just give me a wave. If there's anyone here tonight that say, yeah, I need Jesus to forgive me. I need to be born again. If that's you, give me a wave. Is there anyone? I do this every time. I have no shame. I just want to make sure. I want to know you're all going to heaven with me. You can be certain of your salvation. I know where I'm going. If I, if I get hit by a bus when I leave tonight, I know where I'm going. Do you know where you're going? Come on. I want us all to pray this prayer. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Tonight, I confess you. As my Lord and Savior, I turn to you and I turn from sin. Tonight, I am born again. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on, yeah, give the Lord a clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you prayed that prayer for the first time or if You've got some freedom that's come to you tonight. I want to encourage you. Don't just leave this place and just be like, wow, that was a powerful night. But allow this moment to take you deeper. Spend time in the Word. That's your homework. Spend time in prayer. Spend time in the presence of God. Spend time in worship. But allow this night to take you deeper into His presence.
It's felt like revival in this place tonight. Yeah? It's felt like revival. Come on, can we give the Lord some praise for that? Can we just honor Pastor Ade as well? We love you, man of God. Come on, give him some praise. Give him some, give him some honor just for a moment. We love you, man of God. We thank you. Great job, great job. Just reach out a hand. May the outrageous love of the Father, the extravagant grace of Master Jesus, and the intimate fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Your best days are ahead of you. God's not finished with you yet. God's got hidden surprises for you this week. You'll be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. You'll be the head and not the tail. Your barns will be full and your vats will overflow. Your bank account will be more than what you expected it to be. There'll be checks in the post. You're even going to find money, promotions, pay rises. We release them right now in Jesus' name. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you won't chase the blessings, but the blessings are going to chase you. In Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a clap. Give Him a shout of praise. Hey, do you know, do you know, and we will dance like David danced, where the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yeah. Is upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the spirit of the Lord is upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. I will dance, dance, dance like David danced. I will dance, dance, dance like David. Double time. When the spirit, when the spirit of the Lord is upon my heart, I will dance like David danced. When the spirit of the Lord is upon my heart, I will dance like David. I will dance, I will dance, dance, dance like David. The spirit of the Lord is upon my heart. I will clap like David. I will clap. I will clap. I will clap. Clap like David. Clap. I will clap. Clap. Clap like David. When the spirit, when the spirit of the Lord is upon my heart. I will shout like David shouted. <laughs> okay, after three, we're going to do our tradition, if you know it. One, two, three, get rigged! See you next time. <laughs>